Hello, it's been a while since my last video. In the past months I received a lot of questions about SOAR, so I finally decided to create a video where I'll talk about it. Let's take a look at uh, this example. We have a user who attempted to unzip or run on his local host a malicious file. In this example we'll use uh, ACAR. The McAfee endpoint security installed locally will immediately block the file from running. A McAfee agent will communicate this event to the McAfee policy orchestrator. A McAfee EPO database smart connector will collect events from the database. This connector will normalize and categorize the events collected. In step 4, we see a cluster of servers on which we have deployed the ArcSight platform with several applications. The events collected by the McAfee EPO database connector will be forwarded to the TH ArcSight Avro topic in Avro format. ESM was subscribed to the TH ArcSight Avro topic from where it's pulling data for correlation. The possible malware detected rule will evaluate the events which were received from endpoint security. Since all rule conditions are met by the base event, the rule will trigger a correlation event. A forwarding connector will look for correlation events triggered by ESM. Those events are going to be sent towards SOAR. In SOAR, we have already added the ArcSight ESM as an active alert source, which means that alerts received by ESM will be transformed into cases. In SOAR, I created a semi-automatic workflow playbook requiring uh, some analyst actions. As you see here, uh, when this playbook gets executed, the case will be assigned to an analyst. McAfee will check the host under the system tree and it will enrich the case with some more context. An analyst action will be required to run virus total hash query uh, to again add even more context to the case. Based on the community score from the enrichment, the analyst can decide to continue with the playbook execution, ordering to McAfee uh, ePolicy Orchestrator to enforce an on demand scan policy. Now let's go under SOAR and take a look uh, at the workflow playbook. Okay, so the playbook name, you can see it right here on top. Then when we scroll down, um, we see the possible malware detected, the first action. So we're looking for um, the alert source should be ArcSight ESM. And also um, the other condition, uh, this is the rule basically that is going to trigger um, from the ArcSight ESM. Action number two, assign case to a user. Uh, from what we can see here is that uh, this case will be uh, automatically assigned to Jessica. Jessica is uh, our tier 2 analyst. We see immediately after that that uh, there is an analyst decision. Uh, we see that um, Jessica has 30 minutes of time uh, to run a manual enrichment uh, checking the virus total using uh, the event hash. Uh, and uh, yeah, just seeing whether um, it has a positive or negative community score. Based on her decision, the case will be either closed or uh, it's going to be. It's essentially the playbook will continue with uh, the next enrichment. This enrichment allows uh, the analyst to obtain more context uh, from the McAfee EPO uh, system tree. Uh, she will get uh, the same sort of information that we see here. This is uh, basically from the McAfee policy orchestrator. Then we see that the next action is to uh, actually run an on-demand scan on uh, the host that uh, has uh, presented uh, the event. Um, an e-policy orchestrator policy will be uh, enforced and that uh, e-policy orchestrator will basically tell the endpoint security to, uh, yeah, with the threat prevention to perform on-demand scan. Another analyst action, we see that uh, yeah, the uh, McAfee on demand scan results. Uh, we want to know what are the exact results. We're giving uh, enough time, we're giving like two hours uh, of time to the analyst uh, just to make sure that the scan has completed. And uh, again, now if, uh, if, if it's necessary, we can escalate the case to a higher level. Uh, so just to remind you, Jessica was a level two analyst. We can say analyst level three. Or uh, also now, if there is um, if there are no other malicious file retrieved, uh, then the case will be will be closed. Okay, so let's see on practice how does it work. We copy the ACAR 
from the website um, and then we just paste it simply into a file txt in this case I'm just going to save it close immediately after that just try to open it even if you're not trying to open it uh, the endpoint security will immediately retrieve this yeah we have also a notification on the bottom right side uh, it says that uh, yeah McAfee endpoint security alert um, so there is a potentially unwanted uh, program being executed on here on access scan we see that the ACAR test file uh, was deleted opening up the SM console we see that the file uh, has been received has been pulled out basically from the transformation hub worker node infected file deleted yeah okay uh, you can inspect by double clicking you can check it on the right side under the inspect edit panel you can obtain some more information And then finally, we want to go under the ArcSight SOAR, click on Cases. Now the case will load. This is the newly generated uh, case. Here we see on the right side immediately uh, that uh, a playbook was executed. If you note, uh, still this case hasn't really been assigned to anyone, but very, very soon uh, Jessica is going to be assigned. We see also immediately the message uh, that Jessica will see uh, asking her to run a manual enrichment, checking virus total. And here we see the correlation event and the base event that has uh, triggered this alert. If you note, the case now uh, was assigned to Jessica. And also she has to take a decision. She has to do a manual enrichment, checking the virus total. And uh, what she can do, she can go here under threat intelligence then uh, the enrichment plugin for virus total scroll all the way down virus total enrichment plugin and uh, file hash query from integration all she has to do is just to select the virus total integration created you see that the selected hash populates automatically this is coming from the base event so now there is a message you can see also on the top right side a new message appearing. This is because we have uh, executed the menu enrichment. Uh, so the timer keeps um, keeps running, but if we scroll down, if we go uh, under, we'll see that uh, yeah we have executed also a menu virus auto enrichment. After a while, on the bottom right side, we see um, that uh, the enrichment was completed. Also, we have a notification on the top right side. So let's scroll down and let's take a look. What are the results? Okay, so let's expand. This is the virus total enrichment. Okay, uh, all right. We have some more information. We see the hash. We have the score as well. Okay, and um, let's go and let's click on details. All right, we have... Uh, uh, all kind of different vendors, security vendors, uh, that are essentially saying to Jessica, you know what, this is the ACAR test file. It's just a test file, it's not a malware, so um, yeah, nothing special. If we move our site, we can see that the hashes that we tested in the virus total um, essentially we have here the virus total confidence and uh, this information is automatically also getting populated and brought to the to the case 
Now the next logical step in front of Jessica is to decide whether if she wants to continue with the playbook execution or she wants simply to close the case. Now to make it uh, more interesting, uh, we're just going to continue with the playbook execution. Clicking on yes. And now you can see on the right side of our screen uh, some uh, more, let's say, pending actions. A new enrichment. The enrichment uh, which is uh, getting executed right now is to find the system under the system 3 uh, of McAfee Policy Orchestrator. And uh, if we scroll down, if we just uh, take a look uh, under, um, we see actually that we have already this information. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's click on the drop down. And yep, this is uh, the same information that we normally obtain when we go under ePolicy Orchestrator, under System 3, and when we select the host and when we say uh, more details, right? Uh, yeah, you can even see CPU here. Yeah, let, let me show you. System properties, here it is, CPU type. So all this information is getting mapped and added uh, under your case, under the ArcSight SOAR. The next action is to assign uh, policy to uh, endpoint security. Um, basically, an on-demand scan uh, is going to be executed automatically. Okay, and uh, it looks like that the on-demand scan, uh, yeah, was uh, executed already, and uh, yeah, it was successful. So nothing suspicious. We can control also opening up the McAfee agent, but overall we see on-demand scan on EPO, and um, then we can see the playbook that was uh, executed. Okay, so both the McAfee enrichment and the McAfee actions were successful. So the last thing, uh, the last question uh, in front of Jessica is to decide whether if she wants to escalate the case for further investigation or simply to close it. Now we can just click on uh, no, you know, we want to close the case. Okay, and uh, after that, uh, yeah, this case will be closed. You see, after refreshing, the case is disappearing from the queue. And yeah, uh, that was uh, pretty much the example that I wanted to do. So thank you very much for watching.